In today's crazy world, we're constantly using things we don't need, doing things we don't like, and never really moving forward or getting the results we're hoping for in either ourselves or our animals. Are you ready for a change? Join me, Wendy Patrick, your host on Quantumly Yours, Finesium Health's podcast, and become empowered to take control of you and your animals' health and well-being. We're all quantumly connected, so whether you're around the corner or around the world, it doesn't matter because we can help each other and all work together on our journeys. So come, join me and together we'll myth bust, share advice, knowledge, truths and suggestions to help you awaken, grow and continue your journey to a healthier, happier life. Hello, folks, and welcome to another episode of Quantumly Yours. As you can see, I've got a guest with me today, and I'm going to introduce her in just a second for you. But I just want to welcome you back if this is your returning visit to listen to the news podcast, or if you are just tuning in for the first time, well, a great big happy welcome to you and hope that you enjoy what we're going to have a chat about today. But my guest, without further ado, is Cami Gildner, and I'm very excited to have Cami here because I'm hoping she's going to boost up us ladies here today, because let me tell you a little bit about her. Um, Cami believes women's voices matter, and she is a connector, a storyteller, and a business coach for women. How extraordinary is this? What attracted me as well was because Cami's entrepreneurial journey was marked by the breath of a horse over a decade ago. This magical epiphany moment led Cami to d- discover her purpose of leading changemaker women to give voice to their most important messages and create a ripple effect of worldly impact. Cami weaves soulful inspiration into mindful business strategies, helping her clients up-level their business with decades of leadership, marketing, strategic planning, and business growth expertise. Cami gives her clients to master their marketing, money, and mindset. Cami's soulful spirit leads her clients to unleash their magical manifestation powers and live out loud fueled with vitality and courage my goodness it's like super exciting the the crescendo is building almost isn't it um cami's also the founder of extraordinary woman radio a podcast featuring wildly successful women making an impact on the world and named best business podcast in the 2018 people's choice awards how incredible um she's also the author of free dancer your spiral journey dancer <laughs> Fire dancer. What did fire I Fire dancer. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Fire dancer, your spiral journey to a life of passion and purpose. Well, Cami, you just have to take over from here. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, Wendy. I really appreciate it. Oh, I so appreciate you being here. Um, you are a fabulous wealth of information. I know because you got referred to me by another lovely lady. I happened to have guest on her podcast of Nikita Thigpen. Yes. At Balance Boltley. And she's an incredible person too. So she really I know is. I am within greatness here again. <laughs> and having you on the show so very welcome um how are you doing what you're doing get get us right into here how did you get here oh i I came out of the corporate world about oh my gosh probably 13 years ago i left and i was meant to be on a very different journey i'd been an, an executive in the corporate world and was meant to be doing something different so i gently or maybe not so gently got got um shown a new pathway and that started it. And it was really, it was a breath of a horse that, that helped me see that vision there. I was, I was having one of those days thinking, I don't know what the heck I'm meant to do. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I really kept thinking I was going to go back to the corporate world. And I was on the phone with the coach that day. And 
she said, well, why don't you go outside and just breathe in some of your horse's breath today? And I was like, okay, well, I've been a horse person my whole life. So I'll, I'll take that bait. And um, luckily I did. I, I had a moment out there where I was like, I was, I was just breathing back and forth with my horse. And I had this epiphany that no, I wasn't supposed to go back into the corporate world. I was supposed to do my own thing and start my own business. People had been telling me to do that and I wasn't really listening. And finally it was like the, this moment um, that day I was out in the barn with my horse. It was like, yes, I'm supposed to go in a different direction. And initially it was, I, I did a lot of, um, my coaching training was initially as an equine guided coach. So with the horses, and that was what took me into the pathway of, of, of working with, I mean, today I work with entrepreneurs and helping them grow their business and the horses get to be a part of that. Right. So that's, that's a, a beautiful way. I think I have a really unique way to help women grow their businesses and bring in some really wise wisdom from my horses. So how do you do that? So, well, so I run a mastermind program and part of their mastermind program is a weekend retreat with my horses and the horses, what they do is, is they really help us come home to ourselves and come home to, you know, clear out all the noise that is around us Mm -hmm. on any given day and open up to the wisdom that's within and and see clarity in our business, help us uh, break through any time that we're feeling some, you know, hesitation or fear or something that might be holding us back. Some of those old stories, the horses can really just mirror things back right for us. Absolutely. And, and when we start to pay attention to that, we can see things so much more clearly. And when I, when I host those retreats for my clients, they, are just blown away by, you know, the experiences that they have and the knowledge that they walk away from about themselves, about their business, about their journey, about their purpose, all of those sorts of things, that clarity comes with, with the time just being out in nature, being with the horses. Right. Yeah. That it's, it's so perfect that you say that, um, it's totally my own experience with horses and knowing that you have to check yourself at the gate, as right. I always say, before you go in, but otherwise they'll either go, okay, exactly. not today, bye-bye, turn around mm-hmm. and leave, come mm-hmm. back with a different attitude. Yeah. Um, they are mirrors. Absolutely. And I mm-hmm. love that you, you know, you're basically saying things that I've said on other podcasts <laughs> and, and everything. So it's fantastic. <laughs> I know we're on the same page with that completely. Um, really? So yes, definitely. They, they will certainly um awaken something perhaps as mm-hmm. well or help you admit something that you've been trying to hide so what was the revelation then that stopped you going back into the corporate world what was that little f- switch that they helped flick for you it was a switch to that that guided me to northern california i mean to you know to really start my own business to um become an equine guided coach so that was the switch that happened in that day right i mean i came back in and i journaled like crazy after that that morning and the next thing i knew i was checking out all the equine guided coach training programs that were out there and i ended up um, choosing ariana strazi and headed to northern california for almost a month i was there so it was um quite an incredible personal growth mm-hmm. you know that i went through at that time and then also and i mean be, just being an entrepreneur is a huge spiritual and personal growth journey anyway right and um you know, and that's what, you know, really took me and, and, and my business has taken a couple of different iterations. Very early on, I was working with executive women who are hearing a calling for something more because they, they watched me go through what I went through. (laughs) But then what I really realized was that I had, because I had 20 plus years of experience as a marketing executive. So I had some really um, great tool sets in my, you know, in my, 
toolbox, if you will, mm -hmm. that I could work, I could help them really start their own business because they were all leaving the corporate world and starting their own business. So that was the journey that took me down the pathway of being a business coach, but doing it in a much more spiritual and soulful way than, you know, what I used to do business and marketing strategy and all of that sort of thing in the corporate day was very linear. And today mm -hmm. it's much more soulful. It is, it's about listening to the, you know, it's about listening to the inner wisdom and being in alignment with our purpose and showing up in bigger ways and, and, and putting our voice out to the world in bigger ways in a way that's just aligned to who we are and our, and our purpose. That's fantastic. No, it's great. I mean, obviously, but you were inspiring people before you even were being a coach for them too, because they were seeing your journey. Mm -hmm. So this is the whole thing as well that I like to do with um, Quantum Liers. And we try to help each other out and lift each other up and give people other alternatives of how to get there. So yeah. a lot of people I know in the last year or so or whatever, things have changed dramatically, obviously. Mm -hmm. So things have changed with jobs. Things are changing with jobs. People aren't wanting to do jobs anymore. They're starting right. to realize that, you know, who knows when our time's up? Who knows what's going on? Why are we yeah. still spinning our wheels doing the same old drudgery for someone else that we've never enjoyed? Right. So can you help any one of our listeners, Cami, in um, giving them advice or encouragement as to how to take that step? How do they find what their purpose is? I don't know whether that's too much or not. Stop me if I'm going too far. No, that's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great, question and I think that's very much what I was experiencing back in 2008 when I you know one I had been getting sick I had been um I had been in discourse and in relationships with my boss with some friends with you know it, it was it was a messy time and I was getting all kinds of signposts that I was supposed to switch up my corporate job and I wasn't listening right so I wasn't listening to any of the signposts that were there and so the universe came in and kind of guided me out of it with a, with a, being laid off. And it was, it was awesome. Right. I always say that was my, my best gift was I got laid off and second best gift. It was 2008 when there wasn't a lot of VP of marketing jobs around. So what I'd say to your listeners is if you're hearing, you're seeing some signposts that things are supposed to shift, you know, that there's like these things that just keep happening and it's not working for you. Or if you get this gentle exit from, from a, a one place that you're at into a new place, it's a really good time to stop and listen and pay attention to, okay, wh what am I meant to do? And I think some of the best places to, to, to do this, and, and I, I teach a lot of this in my book, Fire Dancer, um, because I tell my journey through this, right? Mm. And I give a lot of the tool sets and the workbook and all, all of that that goes along with it. But you start with this essence of who you are, which means your strengths, your passions, your values. And really equal as we equally as important there are your stories. It's like, what are the times in your life where you've been really lit up? What, what, what has, um, what have those times been and you're looking for your strengths and your passions and your, and your values in those stories. Mm. And from that point, you start to get just very organically new ideas dropping in, right? It's like, what if? And um, so you, you build into the essence of who you are, the gifts of who you are, and what are all the things that you might do with that gift of you? That's right. And, Right. And from that, then you could say, well, I could do, you know, 25 different things, but what one is the right one? And then you start paying attention to, you know, weighing the, your values against them. And, and that's how, you know, that was how um, I, I went through my own journey and how I've helped so many people over the years go through that journey as well. Um, and what's beautiful about that, if you decide to start your own business, or even if you don't, if you're, if you're wanting to go, you know, say you stay in the corporate world, but you're just making a shift within the corporate world, that brand of you comes from the essence of you, your strengths, your values, your gifts of who you are, creates that essence of you. 
And from that, you can build the brand of you um, and the brand of how you serve your clients. And I think that's been some of the really unique things that I do with my clients today is, who are entrepreneurs is help them determine what their brand is by starting with themselves, starting from the inside out. And it's a really powerful way to, um, it's a really powerful way to build a brand that only you own, that's very naturally and organically you versus trying to position yourself to fit in a box somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's just showing up as you. Yes. It's, it's just so much easier, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's, that's great advice. Fantastic advice. Um, I mean, I'm still sort of, I've muddled through it all right from the get-go, just by whatever way I think it might work. Right. Um, so, you know, certainly I've hit some roadblocks. I've ran against some walls. I've smashed my head against them and tried to beat them down and then realized, hang on, maybe I shouldn't be banging my head against this wall any longer. Look at that. What's over there? And away I go. So yeah. I always say the expression is don't be afraid to change horses. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I, and I, that's so true. And I think what's even more beautiful is when you do make a change, you've got, if you go through this work of this, you know, the essence of you, that is going to remain pretty consistent, no matter which direction you're going. Mm -hmm. And so when you go to change up your brand, you come back home to this core work and you start listening to all the universal gifts that are flowing your way, all these little taps on the shoulder saying, hey, pay attention to this. Yeah. And, and what happens is, is this is such a, a repeatable process and there's nothing elementary about coming back to this, who am I at my essence? It's actually the most powerful way you can build brand. Every time you make that shift, come back home to you, listen to your wisdom, you know, play with whatever um, modes of, I mean, I, I play with the moon, I play with, um, you know, cards, I play with all these different things that help just be seed ideas for me. And I start with that essence of me and lo and behold, the next level of my brand evolves. So every time we make these kind of shifts, this, this, this methodology really keeps you in alignment with it, with you, keeps you in alignment with you. That's, that's really what that's, it is. That's very, very cool. Very cool. So whenever you say in that, um, those different things that, that keep you in tune with you and the things that you play with and all the rest of it and building your brand. Can you break that right down to the bare minimum? Like, you know, what does it mean to build a brand or um, how can we raise our energetic vibration and how does this help our, us grow our business? Yeah. So a couple of pieces to growing your brand. One is, is this, you know, this part that I've mentioned already is you start from the inside out. The second part of it is really learning to speak your client's love language. And that means, and, and I know you've seen this, Wendy, where people um, have been, have marketed with all the pains and scarcity approach mark messaging and that sort of thing. And I, I, that's one of the marketing rules. I say we got to break. We got to get out of that habit of, of pulling people down and creating more self-doubt in people mm. and instead helping them see bigger possibilities. That's when people want to work with you is if you can help them stretch and grow and see bigger possibilities for themselves right. versus say, you know, thinking, oh my gosh, you know, putting them into a box of some mm. sort. I think there's, there, you see too, way too much of that. So learning to speak your client's love language is really getting into the heads of what are the conversations your clients are having right now and what is it that they're desiring now you have to understand you do have to understand the pains and the challenges that they are facing and the emotions associated with that but moving into that space of what is it they really want and learning to speak to that and helping them see that there's a gap you're here and where you want to go is, you know, to this bigger possibility. I know how to take you there. And that's the piece that, um, if, you know, learning to speak your client's love language is a really important part of that building a marketing, uh, a marketing strategy and brand. And, um, then the third part of that is, 
looking for ways to elevate your voice in a way that um, you become a leader in your own category. You know, we were talking about your show, you know, this show being a, you know, that it's, it's, it's making the top list on, on, <laughs> on the podcast list. Right. And that's exciting. And the reason you're doing that is because you're taking your voice out. People want to hear your expertise and that's, it's like getting to that clarity. Okay. What is that message that I'm leading with? That mm. is a thought leadership message that, that people want to hear my voice. So that's the third part of the voice of you and getting your brand out in the world. Um, and so I look at it as voice and then vision is the right packaging, pricing. It's the um, the right vision or the right work life balance that you want to create in your your business. So it's it's the strategy of your business, right? It's what makes your business operational. So the voice is what we're putting out there. The um, vision is is the the strategy of the business, and then the visibility is how do you get visible? There's so many great ways that we can get visible. We can do it on podcasts. We can do it on stages. We can do it on social media. How do we go out and build our communities of clients that, that we bring into our, our world? So those are the three core pillars. And then underneath of all of that is what I call the R factor. And that's how we resonate. And that's that, that energy of us, right? It's how we show up. It's how people feel our energy when we walk into a room or when we show up online. They're like, oh, I'm connecting with this person's soul. Right. And so that means we're taking care of ourselves um, from a mind, from a body, from a spirit, from a community perspective, so that we're showing up in our brightest light. That's fabulous. I just yeah. love the way you put it. I really yeah. do. I love the way you put it. Yeah, um, I, I don't know whether it's because of where I grew up or not, but we don't have such a um, uh, demonstrative way of putting it I don't know quite what the word is that's not quite the word but um I love how you put it we're, we're basically um yeah don't put yourself on a pedestal because somebody else will kick it out pretty quick mm. so it's like you know don't get on your high horse so right we're, we're kind of brought up in a sense more to be very humble in that and I think mm -hmm. you know I'm in that generation where there's a lot of people that are scared to make that first step, mm. but yet they've been showing up for everybody, for their friends, their families, their work colleagues or whatever for decades, but never given themselves the credit for being able to do that to that level. Yeah. And it can be scary, right? I mean, especially if we've been culturally brought up and, and, you know, stay in your, stay in your space, right? right. Yes. You and belong there. Right. And when you start to stretch into new spaces, and I can tell you, I had huge fears around stages and, you know, I was really good at shining a light. In fact, I had taught so many people to, to um, be on stages, even in the corporate world, that was part of what I did. Right. And when it came term for me to take the front and center, I was like, oh no, I don't want to grow my business that way. Um, <laughs> and look at and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had to get over myself, right? And I and 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 there's and part of the, one of the ways that I really did that that really helped me was I was, you know, growing my business and it was growing at a nice pace. And then I did this little strategy thing for myself, you know, two days away. What do I, you know, what's my vision for my business? Where do I want it to go? And I wrote a purpose statement around, I wanted to impact a million women around the world, helping them step into their voice and their visibility and really make the impact on the world. That was my vision statement that I wrote many years ago. And when I wrote that, I was like, oh, I'm not going to do this one person at a time. It's got to be, right. I need to start stretching myself. And yeah. so there was this, this vision though, this excitement around this vision that, that drove me that said, yes, I can do this. And then I started stretching into bigger spaces and bigger stages. And that really helped me grow to a new level. And that's part of why I'm so passionate about, you know, raising up women's voices and their visibility and getting them out in the world and getting their messages out because, it becomes a ripple effect. It's like, you know, each yes. person goes and 
works with their communities and the ripple effect of that is just incredible. And I think our world really needs that right now. I think women's wisdom is the medicine our earth needs right now. And so for me, it's a, it's a driver to say, I can get out and help more women by showing up in bigger ways. Absolutely. No, completely and utterly agree with you. Because I think the better that we can get over our fears, get over mm-hmm. our insecurities, deal with the demons, mm-hmm. get them up, shake them up, look at them and go, you're absolutely nothing. Get out of here. I've got stuff to do. Yeah. The more that you can then grow into your own skin, fill your own space and go, yeah, I am strong enough to do this. I can do this. Then you can then help build other people up yeah. rather than, because it's really easy to sit there in your gloom and doom and say, oh, well, I'm never going to be able to do that. I'm never going to. Well, no, you aren't. If you keep that mental attitude, you aren't. Yeah. But you have to realize that someday that you're only doing that. You're only hurting yourself with doing that. Right. And you're only holding yourself back and you're only doing a disservice to the world from them not getting to know who you are and what really makes you tick. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very important that people are starting to step into their own light now and into their own um, uh, energy and embracing the fact that, oh, we are all connected. Everything is quantum. Everything with a heartbeat and a pulse is connected across the whole planet so if you don't think you're important enough if you're listening to this right now you are you have a role to play you are a very very important key person in this whole drama if you like yeah Yeah. and i think you know we were all we all chose to be in this world Mm -hmm. right now i mean i think our souls truly chose for us to be here through this. Yep. And that's because of that, we have this strong desire inside of us. And I think that's what is exciting is, you know, if you're feeling that calling, if you're feeling this desire to make an impact with the gifts of you, there's more. So keep stretching mm-hmm. into it, keep stretching into it because you're hearing that calling for a reason. Yes. And you, you just don't even have I mean, there's just no way that we can have the full perception of the impact that we can truly make if we start stretching ourselves. And that's the beauty of just step into it and do it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we're going to trip, we're going to fall, we're going to have all yeah. the different pieces along the way, because it's not a straight line journey. And that's why taking care of our, our factor is so important, right? Because it isn't a straight line. It is it is crazy. So how do we take care of our mindset on a daily basis? Are we doing meditation? Are we, you know, working with positive intelligence? What are the things, tools that we're using there? How are we taking care of our body from a nutrition perspective, from a a physical perspective, from an energetic perspective? How are we spiriting? However, however you spirit, right? As I always say, however you spirit, it's (laughs) be sure you're doing it because that's how you're tapping into your purpose and why you're here. And then the, the, the last part of our factor is our community. And that means being in communities that are all about lifting each other up. Just you, you were talking about this, you know, as we jumped on, it's like, how do we lift each other up? How, how can we help each other see things in a bigger way and stretch? That's the beauty of community. So making sure that you're in communities that help you do that. And if, if part of your communities are asking you to stay in that little box, Mm. then it's time to think about, am I in the right communities? Yeah. And, and, you know, when you say that as well, I mean, some people are in communities which are very, very rural, so Mm -hmm. you don't actually have that. So there's nothing to say you can't have a community online. Yeah. Um, You know, you have your people, you have your tribe, just get out there, take the leap of faith, you know, put it this way. If you, you change one thing today that you didn't do yesterday, and you have a different outcome, well done. If you do it the, the next day and nothing changes, well, you still haven't lost anything, have you? Yeah. At least you've tried. Yeah. And that's it. You have to be um, willing to try a, a whole ton of different things. And once you find that thing that clicks, you'll find it just, it's like a, a well-fitting glove. It's like you just fit right into it. It's comfortable, but it's exciting. And um, you know it's right. Yeah. And I'll just throw it out there. My extraordinary women connect is all about connecting great women to great women and in their, in their purpose, raising each other up. So it's, it's on Facebook, it's Facebook group, 
Extraordinary Women Connect. That's a great place to, to start. Extraordinary Women Connect on Facebook. There we go. And we can all start to build our little tribe and our community. Yeah. Now yeah. on that topic as well, Cami, I know you have something else to do with being on those stages you were talking about. And that's coming up <laughs> really, really soon. So it tell is. us about that. Well, my seventh annual Extraordinary Women Ignite conference is coming up November 11th through 13th, and it's in Golden, Colorado, and it's it's going to be an amazing event. It's um, this is a this is a three day event where it's all about finding the voice of who you are, finding clarity in your voice, finding clarity in your purpose, your why and um, building the vision of what you want your business to be, and then really stepping into your visibility and getting out into the world in bigger ways. It's, and it's, it's, I do this in November every year because it's right before the new year starts. So you put the foundation of your next year work all in place, the strategy that you're gonna be taking your business out and growing your business, you dream, you think bigger, all of this in, in a room full of just amazing, extraordinary women. And you lift each other up and step into 2022 with such a, a, a solid base and foundation to work from. And it's what I love about it is the impact that it has on my clients and by, by, they, by them attending. I have had clients attend almost every single one of them. Um, they just come back year on year because it's basically it's it's the 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 foothold into the new year well that that's that sounds great now tell us a, a little bit more about it cami that um like what sort of a format does it take please i mean are, are they all hippies running around around fires and tents or what <laughs> no we were in a big conference room and we um, and we and we actually have expanded to a new conference room which is good so that we can keep people safe and um, so we'll be paying attention to that sort of thing. Um, and, um, you know, so we've got, you know, I'm doing some teaching. It's always very collaborative. So it, it's, it's a space where um, we're pairing people up. You're meeting new people. You're, you're working with one another. One of the things I really pride myself on is that it's, it's, a, it's a conference where you get to work on your business. It's not like a conference where you just hear three days of people talking at you. Right. But you actually get to work on your business. And uh, as, as you, so you walk away, I mean, I have clients that carry, you know, their workbook around all year long, you know, from their work plan that they wrote in November. And so it's, it's just a really good way that we can, um, you know, set that foundation. And then I've got speakers coming in from all over the place who are just bringing more of the you know, it's like, I've got a woman coming from Hawaii who does the sound bowls and the oh, healing wow. sound. I've got um, a woman from back East who's going to be teaching the soul of your business. So we just bring all of our best gifts to the table and it really makes it amazing. Wow. That's wonderful. And can it be joined virtually as well? Not, not at this point. Um, okay. Now we may at some point offer up um, a version of it virtually, Mm -hmm. um, but right now it is a, it's a live event. We were virtual last year and oh, okay. which was awesome and amazing. And we were also all very excited to be back live this year. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. yeah Cause there's definitely yeah. something about that connection, mm -hmm. that soul connection, right. in yeah. person as well, Yeah, which you just don't get with the whole virtual attendance. Yeah. So, so maybe hopefully by then the, the borders will be all opened up totally for us. Oh, Wouldn't that be hopefully. Nice? Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. Cause I would love to attend it. And um, certainly yeah. that would be on my wish list to do for November 22. Oh my goodness. It just sounds so far away, but this yeah. year has just gone by, by in a minute. So I'm sure it'll do the same thing. Well, Cami, this has been absolutely extraordinary um, to use your own um, word, really. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't planned. Um, but this, is, this has been great. I mean, I hope that um, some of you out there that are listening um, and even some of you who are already running your own business like myself are getting other ways and uh, encouragement to join together in communities where we can help each other out, lift each other up help each other grow even further and even more and be these superheroes that we were always supposed to be 
um, mm-hmm. before we were stuck in boxes and told what we should and shouldn't do. Um, I think the time of that is passing where we're like, no, no, you can't tell me that anymore. I'm not conforming. I'm not doing what I'm told. Um, and the little rebel is coming back out in us again. So let our seven-year-old reign supreme. Um, so Cami, I know I want to be going out there and getting one a copy of your book. Um, so please tell us where we can get that and tell us where everybody can get a hold of you in case they would like to actually get some expertise on business coaching for themselves. Sure, sure. So uh, my book, and then I also have a deck of, um, of inspiration called cards called Pony Ponderings Inspiration Cards are available on Amazon. So um, both of those can't, you can find both of those there and that's a a good place. In fact, I have a lot of my decks of cards in Canada. Um, Just they, um, they've done, the cells in Canada have done really well. So Canada has been good to me and, and, and really liking my, um, my inspiration cards, Pony Ponderings. And um, my book is Fire Dancer, Your Spiral Journey to a Life of Passion and Purpose. So both of those are on Amazon. And, and then I have, I run a mastermind program. And so we will be enrolling people in my mastermind program in November and kicking off the 2022 year. And that is super exciting to be, you know, that's just, it's such a fun time for me to be bringing new people into the business. And Um, We go through a lot of, you know, over the course of the year, we're really going through a lot of these foundational pieces that I'm talking about, but you're also in community. You're in a a deeply tight community Mm. of people who are growing their businesses together, who are their businesses of impact. My women always tend to be change maker women because we're called to make an impact with our with the gifts of who we are. And that's that's who's in my mastermind program. So fab, fab. Sounds like a, a very, very um, exciting group, to say the least. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to make sure that for any of you listening or driving or whatever else, um, that we're going to put all the links and everything down below um, wherever this is published. Um, you know, we're on iTunes, we're on our Google Play, we're on Spotify and on BitChute, YouTube, and through the finessiumhealth.com website. So if you are driving and you would like to get some information on how to get a hold of Cami, please go to the finessiumhealth.com website and go onto our podcast page and we'll make sure that all of this information is right under there for you. Um, or even just get a hold of me if you're trying to remember what the, the, the things were or the connections were and we'll make sure that people get connected, um, Cami, because you have so much to offer, so much to bring to the table and I just love what you're doing. Um, so I just want to thank you immensely for sparing the time to come on this little. Oh Canadian gosh, it's my show. honor. It's my <laughs> honor. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm sure there'll be a lot more um, decks of cards floating up this way as well <laughs> before too long. And thank you so much for coming. And uh, I wish you all the best success with your wonderful, wonderful conference in um, November. And thank thank you, you so much, Wendy. It's, it's been a pleasure having this chat with you. Oh, my pleasure completely, Cami. It really has. So, well, thanks everybody for watching, tuning in, listening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, wishing you a fabulous day, fabulous evening. And um, as always, thanks for joining us and stay possum. All information, products, and topics discussed in the show are simply the host and guest's personal opinions and are for informational purposes only. None claim to offer a diagnosis, treatment, or cure. All listeners and viewers are encouraged to do their own research and consult with their own healthcare providers before changing or adapting any new protocols. Finesium Holistic Health, nor any of its entities, assume any responsibility or liability for any consequence relating directly or indirectly from the information contained within the podcast.